transpired. Hearts had beaten Celtic in the first league meeting of the season, but the other three had been won by the Glasgow team. They went into the game talking the talk, but could they walk the walk? The stage is set for Act 2 of the drama that is Scottish Cup semi-final weekend. Who will play the lead this afternoon and who will have to be content with a supporting role. Celtic getting us underway. A tremendous atmosphere inside the National Stadium. Zaliukas getting his head to the ball early on. Mulgrew charged down by the willing Scott Robinson. Kelvin Wilson short. It's an excellent chance early on. And Fraser Forster quickly out to deny Stephen Elliott. But an early warning for Celtic that any complacency will be punished. Good goalkeeping by Forster. Stephen Elliott, three goals this season. Oh, great chance to add to them early on as Granger whips in the corner. It was met by Darren Barr. He was aware of Robinson's presence, but Robinson's done well against Mulgrew. Commons too, though, does terrifically to create the space for the cross. Two Celtic players there. Lustig, one of them, picks up from Samaras. Surely a goal! How did that one stay out from Ki Sung Young? That's Charlie Mulgrew now. Oh, no, it's Joe Ledley now. Back for Mulgrew. Wilson gives it away to Black, who sets Stephen Elliott off and running. Leuven's across to track him. Elliott's done well, though. Black. Flick through for Elliott for Scatchel into the back of the net. A tremendous opening to the second half for Hearts. Absolute joy among the... Edinburgh fans, so too the Hearts players. It was Beatty, the architect, Scacho, you can see, is just on side. And his composure was tremendous to fire it into the roof of the net. Round Forster, and Mulgrew couldn't get there. And Beatty, the substitute, playing an integral role in that opening strike. Shot from Black to Scatchel, he takes on the shot from distance and forces Foster into the diving save. Oh, Scatchel, full of confidence after that goal. Let's put his side in front, and why not? Looking to add to his 14 goals for the season now. I hear he's carrying something of a groin injury. Here's Scott Brown, a Celtic press for the equaliser. Can't get through there, though. As Hearts pick up through Beattie. Gets away from Lubens. Here's Driver back for Beattie. They've got three against three. They can move it quickly. There's Beattie going for goal, and he's not too far away from finding it. Well, he's looked highly impressive since coming on as a half-time substitute, Craig Beattie and almost scoring against his former side. No more than a yard wide of Fraser Forster's right-hand post. And perhaps Celtic can force a goal here as Commons prepares to take the free kick. There's Key at the back post, he's hit the post once more from an almost identical position at the other end. And the pressure is mounting. Commons, a deep one this time. Rising highest was Mulgrew, surely! 
How did that stay out? That is quite incredible. Again, it looked destined for the back of the net. It was Mulgrew, Klein, McDonald with a good save. And Anthony Stokes somehow directed this away from goal when it looked easier to score. Stepping away from a couple of challenges. Wanyama in for Ledley. Now Mulgrew. There's Hooper! <laughs> Celtic have got level at last! And it's that man, Gary Hooper. His first Scottish Cup goal for Celtic. And his 23rd of the season overall. Well, is he offside there as the ball comes in? Danny Granger with plenty of options inside the penalty area. But Shinenko, there's Zaliukas, did that come off a hand? It's a penalty kick, it's a handball, and Hearts have a penalty in the final minute of the 90. Ewan Norris with another big decision to make. Certainly off the arm of Joe Ledley, what he knew about it is up for debate. And Celtic having got the benefit of a debatable decision just a moment or so ago at the other end, or perhaps on the wrong end of another debatable decision. And this could prove crucial. It looks like it'll be Craig Beatty, the man, to step up and try to beat Fraser Forster, who saved a late penalty against Hearts at Celtic Park earlier this season. That one was from Eggert Jonsson. This time, it'll be Craig Beatty. We're into injury time. Surely, a goal now would be the winning goal as Ewan Norris orders Fraser Forster back onto his line. Some mind games going on. Craig Beatty, the former Celtic striker, up against Fraser Forster, finds the back of the net. And Hearts are back in front. Craig Beatty rips off the top and celebrates with the Hearts fans. Oh, how he loved that. And how the Hearts fans are loving that. Has been inspirational since coming on at half time, straight down the middle. No chance for Forster who dived left. He got his hand to it, but it wasn't enough as BT is booked for taking his top off. But he won't mind that too much. He has surely become the man, the match winner for Hearts. But it's do or die for, for Celtic now. Here's McGeoch trying to make it happen for Celtic. McDonald saves from Ledley. And the man penalised at the other end for the Hearts penalty. McGowan can't get it clear, he does now. Only as far as Mulgrew. Up against Pritchenenko. Can he get it into the area, Charlie Mulgrew? He has to. He has done, Leuvens, did that come off your arm? Celtic certainly thought so. Wanyama. McGeoch is away from driver. McGeoch with a cross, Jimmy McDonald's got to deal with that, he's done well. And Suso just thumps it clear. You Norris puts his whistle to his lips and blows the full-time whistle. Hearts are into the Scottish Cup final for the first time in six years. They have been in the SPL champions, Celtic. It will be a Hearts-Hibs final.